how to access Snapchat data at a request. Well, that is what I'm going to show you guys in this pretty quick and easy tutorial. So if this video helped you out, please do let me know in the comments, but let's get started right away. So first I'll show you guys how to actually request your data from Snapchat, and then I'll show you guys how to actually access it or download it. So what you wanna do is click on your Bitmoji in the top left corner, and then to the settings in the top right corner. Once you click on there, you wanna scroll a little bit down until you see uh, under privacy controls, you should see my data. You wanna click on there. This will bring you over to this page where you have to log into your Snapchat account. So I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Then you will end up on this page and here you have to select what type of data you would like to download. So first of all, it is currently only set to export HTML files and uh, like user information, chat history and all of these that are checked over here. But at the top, you can also include your memories and other saved data and even export JSON files. So I'm not exactly sure what these JSON files are, but you know, the top one is pretty straightforward. Now, the more of these you select and then click on next, the longer it will take for it to export. So it also depends, of course, on how much data you have. So if I now, for example, click on next, here I can actually select um, a, a date range. So I can select a specific date range over here, but I can also uncheck that. So then it will end up uh, downloading or exporting basically my whole account, like I, all the data from my account. So this can actually take a very long time if you submit it, if you would like to download everything in your account. Um, but if you know you only want a specific time date and only, for example, um, these that are now currently checked, then it shouldn't even take that long. For this account, it took maybe like 30 minutes. But basically, once you have submitted this, you will end up getting an email such as this. So your Snapchat data has is ready for download. Now, what you want to do is simply click on here. This will bring you over to this site where you once again have to log in. So you want to do that. And once you are logged into your account again, you can now see here at the top your exports. So one export is available and it will expire in about three days. So what I want to do is simply click on see exports and it says my data and then dot zip and how many, um, like how big the file is. Currently this is only like a couple of kilobytes. So it's very small. You want to click on download. Then over here, um, you can see how this will look like. So I want to click on the share button in the bottom, then swipe a little bit down and here you can see save files. So you want to save this zip file to your files, basically, then save it somewhere you would like to. So I'll just do this. And then what you want to do is simply go to your files app. So I'll just open that up and locate the file where you have saved it. So it, it is basically uh, this one over here. As you can see, and in order to actually open this up, all you basically want to do is tap on it once. This will create an actual folder. Here we can actually open this up and we can view all of this. So yeah, here you can see basically everything that you have now saved. So that is basically it. That is how to access Snapchat data after a request. I hope this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments if it did, and then I will see you next time.